Hiya, it's Rebecca Logan. I'm going to be swatching a bunch of grayish inks today. When I set up my swatch book, I originally didn't have any gray inks, and, except for Diamine Earl Grey, hello Wemo, and Colorverse Matter and Antimatter, and I thought I would never buy any more gray inks. There was no way, because I don't like the color gray. Well, guess what? I like the color gray now, and I am loving gray and grayish inks. So now I have 11 of them. Well, 10, but Colorverse has matter, matter and antimatter in its box of two inks. So I have 10 boxes of gray ink, one with two inks colors in it. So I'm going to swatch them today, first on Cosmo Air Light paper, and then on Mitsubishi Bank paper, which also just arrived today. So we'll start with Colorverse Antimatter, which is so freaking cute. I mean, look at this tiny little bottle of goodness. It's adorable. I'll be doing my usual. I've written down the names beforehand, so you don't have to wait around while I do that. And just using the back end of my I'm using the back end of my dip pen to make my swatches. I'm not trying for perfect, I'm just trying to get the color down in a 7x7 seven seven block. That is antimatter, which is distinctly purple. Best thing about using the back of my dip pen as a swatching guide is I don't have to use water. I can just dry it on paper towel and that gets all of the ink out. Once all of the ink is off, I can dip it in the next one with no problems. So it's a very efficient way to swatch ink rather than using a paintbrush and having to fight with water and trying to dry your pen, uh, dry your brush. So next up is Matter, also by Colorverse. Come, they came in a box together. I'll show you the box in a moment. But Matter is a much larger. Antimatter was a 15 milliliter sample. That little one I showed you first of all was Antimatter. Oopsies, let's get that lid on. This is Matter and it's a 65 milliliter bottle. That little point on the corner. Very cute. I'm just going to wipe off my hand here. And the box comes with so much stuff in it. So there's the two inks and then there's this fancy thing that goes over the top of the bottom of the smaller bottle and then there and then it comes with advertising piece, paper towel, little cardboard pen holder, stickers, all sorts of stuff that we really don't need, but it's fun. So there's antimatter and matter. Next up is Kyo no Oto from Kyoto Tag. And this is a Japanese ink, as you probably figured out. Uh, 40 milliliter bottle. And some people would say, but it's a blue black, not a gray. Uh, in some pens, it registers as a straight up gray. I've used this with a medium and a fine nib before and it registers just as gray. So this is going in my gray section because it is gray-ish. Do you like to have a bit where it's thicker? Wipe my pan off, uh, my dip off. It goes back. I don't know why I'm closing up these ink bottles. I've got to do this all over again. Next is Ferris Wheel Press Madame Mulberry.
which is I have inked right now. It's an absolutely lovely warm velvety gray. I uh, say velvety, it's in a sig, uh, 14 karat gold sig nib by uh, Jim Rouse, formerly of Franklin Kristoff, and it goes down absolutely gorgeously. I'm loving this ink. I'm not going to close it up. Next is Califolio Greta Pain or Payne's Gray. It's in one of those funky little triangular bottles so that if you get eight of them together, the wedges form a circle. I have four of them, so they form a half circle. Payne's gray is arguably more of a blue than a gray, but it has the name gray in it, so it's going in the gray inks page. Now I notice I have some sort of yellowish shiny sludge on the surface of this ink. This is a relatively new ink. I got it in March or February. I don't know if you can see that. There's some gold material on the surface. I have inked this once. It was in a clean pen. So don't know where that sludge is coming from, but right now it's like a gold, I don't know, it almost looks like shimmer, but there's no way I, I got shimmer in it. I've never used shimmer in the pen that I inked it with, so it's a mystery. Next up, a Pilot Iroshizuku ink, great big 50 milliliter bottle. Pilot ink bottles are some of the best out there. They have that dip down the bottom so that you can put your uh, nib way down there when you're almost out of ink and still manage to get ink into your pen even though your uh, ink level is low. They're huge bottles, 50 milliliters. I think I said that already. and their colors are stunning. Oh, that's Tom Home with the dog. I should stop doing this. Okay, I'm back. Emo was crying downstairs. Tom just got home with the dog. Uh, what's next? Incabara 141 Brown Gray. Looks like I have some interference from another ink color. There we go. Next up, Diamine Earl Grey. This is one of the big bottles. Hi Nell, please don't. Uh oh. Sorry, I had to grab her. I had to put the dip brush in my mouth and my teeth. Grab the cat with two hands, cause she's a big old, a big one. Drag her to the chair is where she was going anyway. She was just going to go through all of this and that I did not want. Not the crying cat. The crying cat is still downstairs. Crying cat is emo and he's a little bit afraid of Nell as he should be. Nell is an asshole so he doesn't really come upstairs very much. So he cries when we're upstairs. Of 
course, he doesn't need to be crying Thomas downstairs. He could just go hang out with Tom. So next up, a Shimmer Tastic ink by Diamine. It's got a metric buttload of silver shimmer. Metric buttload being a technical ink term. I know I'm shaking this very strongly, but you got to get that those shimmer particles into the into flotation so that you can enjoy them. Here we go. That should be good and shimmery. Shimmery ink called Moon Dust. Next is Vinta Ink's Clouds of Grey or Pagtangi. Pagtangi. Clouds of Grey. We'll call it Clouds of Grey because English is my only language and not my best one at that. Again with the shimmer. We don't know why I said we, but I did. Oof. I don't know if you've noticed, I have a tremor in my right hand and it is really doing me no favors today. One of my viewers said you could really see it in the Franklin Kristoff video. So. Good to know I'm not the only one who suffers from my, my tremor. <laughs> okay, and the last one is Ferris Wheel Press Adventurine. And I'm just going to have to move this book because I shoved Adventurine down here. Oh, this box really wants to hold on to Adventurine. And again, with the shimmer particles on the bottom, this one has rose gold. You know, for a section that's supposed to be gray inks, there's a lot of color going on on this page. Here comes greenness. Yeah, Adventurine has kind of a greenish base. I see purple, I see blue, I see mauve, I see brown, I see navy. I am really impressed at how much color is on this page, considering it's literally gray inks. So I'm going to set this aside to dry. And while it is drying, I'm gonna do the same thing all over again, just in smaller swatches on, how gray is the last one? Let's make sure I've got that in there. Yeah. Change the lighting. I'm going to do the same thing all over again, but on Mitsubishi bank paper. This is from the Paper Mind. Um, it's a notebook from the Paper Mind. The paper is again Mitsubishi bank paper. And I wanted to see 
how these inks would fare on this paper. It is a very different paper than what I'm used to. So this will be an experiment. Come on. There we go. Look at how little I already did a sample on Tomoe River paper of all of my inks, and then I just did it on Cosmoware Light, and now I'm doing it on Mitsubishi Bank paper, and there is very little ink wasted by using this method, as opposed to if I was dipping a brush into it, there's a lot more ink wasted if you use a paintbrush. So I'll keep doing this. It's slower than a paintbrush, I'll admit that. A paintbrush is faster at making big swatches, but it works and it's cleaner, arguably cleaner. Sorry. Oh, emo. He sounds so mournful and hard done by. He has a bowl of fresh water another bowl of fresh water because he doesn't always like to drink out of the same place his sister drinks out of he has fresh food he has dry kibble and he has just been petted so it's not like he's hard done by that was the shimmer inks moon dust clouds of gray and adventurine now we'll do the non-shimmer inks Pop these away. Box noises for your pleasure. Let's do whatever comes next. These are in the order in which I grab them. Folio Gris de Pain, the Pain's Gray, which really is a blue. Inkabara Brown Gray. Which I could have put in the taupes section. I do have a taupes and cool brown section in my classification book, but this is much more of a gray when it dries. Or at least it is when it is on Tomoe River or Cosmoware light paper. So let's see how it does on the Mitsubishi Bank paper. Earl Grey by Diamine. Earl Grey is dark. That is the one thing I notice about it. It is my darkest gray, I believe. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have ink. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pay attention and you put a bottle in without closing it properly. Is that or I broke the bottle somehow? I don't think I broke the bottle. Look at that. Oh, inky. So are my fingers. Even the top of the box is inky. Managed to make a mess. Oh, and there's spatter on the page. Look at that. <laughs> my esthetician is not going to be happy with me. Although she'll laugh because she's into fountain pens too. So she understands it. When I go to get my nails done next week. There will still be ink on me, probably. Next up is Pilot Orochizuku Kurosame, which is the first gray I bought, and I bought it because it's a warm gray. And 
I love a warm gray. I do like a warm gray. Um, cool grays I didn't used to like, but now I like them too. Come on, buddy. On we go. Kurosame and Matter, Colorverse Matter, are my most used gray inks until recently. What's next? Madame Mulberry, which is in pretty high rotation right now. a light but legible ink. Oh, I am so sorry I bumped you. Bumped the phone, which is you. It means your whole screen is bouncing. I apologize for that. I would do something about Emo, but there's really nothing to be done about him. Kayo no Otu, Kesha Mirasaki again. I don't know if you can tell, but the shimmer inks seem to be performing much better on this Mitsubishi bank paper. The shimmer is more obvious on the Mitsubishi bank paper. So last but not least are antimatter and matter. So much stuff in it. Again, that great big bottle of matter, which is that and Kurosame are my most beloved gray inks historically. I have some gray pens that I put any color of ink in, but I do like to put gray ink in them now and then. So my Franklin Christoph Model 20 from Wonder Pens has seen a lot of gray ink over the last five or six years, which is surprising considering how little I initially liked gray. But that pen and that ink just worked so well together. Or those two inks. Pop that box in there. All the assorted extra stuff. There we go. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of vibrancy on this page. Let's bring back in the Cosmo Air Light and do some comparisons. Antimatter looks purplish gray. Matter is a warm, dusty gray. Kesha Murasaki is a soft blue gray, almost a purple gray. Madame Mulberry has some berry like tones to it, but you have to work to find them. Greed of Pain. Payne's Gray is very blue. Uh, Kurosame looks positively velvety here and has lots of nice shading going on. Inkabara Brown Gray is this one. And it's actually what all this uh, printing is in. All my writing was done with Inkabara Brown Gray in a... Um, and this guy, a Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini, tiny little pen. Uh, Diamine Earl Grey is pretty consistent on the Cosmo Air Lights. It's got more going on on the Mitsubishi Bank paper. 
Diamine Moon Dust up here. Venta Clouds of Gray is gold shimmer with a greenish gray. Here it's basically just all shimmer. I didn't even get the background color. It's straight, straight up shimmer. Venta Inks really loads the shimmer. And Ferris Wheel Press Adventurine is a soft blue gray background with sparse amount of um, rose gold shimmer. The rose gold shimmer does not stay in solution very long. It drops out. It, it, it just drops to the bottom so you don't get a lot of it. I can see more of it on the Mitsubishi Bank paper. He just won't shut up. He has everything. I'm really sorry. I have a whiny cat. Anyway, that's my I Can't Believe I Like Gray Inks pages. And I'm really enjoying this Mitsubishi Bank paper. Let's see how the backside did. Well, you can see how wet everything is and nothing bled through. So, yay. That's impressive. Yeah, I like it. Good paper. Glad I bought some. I can't believe I like gray inks. I'm having a moment. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, sorry about the cat and bumping the phone. And have a lot of color in your life. And a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Just one uh, quick thing. I also did the same swatching in a different order, unfortunately, on Cosmo, uh, on Tomoe River. So you can just take a quick peek and see all these inks on Tomoe River paper because it is the standard by which everything else is measured. There you go. Thanks. Bye.